What's good, YouTube? Rima coming at you guys, bringing you a new video. Wow, it's been a while since I said that. What's going on, guys? It's probably been a solid three, four weeks since I uploaded. I probably said in my last video I was going to upload a lot more, and I just can never stay on that. Um, I do have a couple excuses. They're probably not good, but uh, basically, um, when I said I was going to do that, I ended up figuring out about a, a local tournament. It wasn't really local for me, but it was down in Kentucky. It was 24 teams, you know. And I thought it would be a great idea to go down to this event with the players that I went down with. And um, it was a struggle. Uh, we had a solid three players that stuck together through the whole thing. And then we went through ten different players before we found the right fourth for the event. So that's basically what I want to talk to you guys about today. Is um, what happened at this Call of Duty LAN event. Um, you know, who we met, who we played, uh, what it was like, the atmosphere, the, the staff. Everything like that. I just wanted to give you guys a little input. So, we left. This this event was a three-day event. They did this pretty professional with the way that they did it. I'll get into that in a second. But, you know, we left Thursday, We left on Thursday at, like, 2 o'clock. And it was to Louisville, Kentucky. And it was about five and a half hour, six hour drive. And, uh, you know, we, we, we got down there fine. I took me, my friend, Sean, and my two teammates, Ajay and Tino. I took them down there and, uh... We got, we got down there, we got down to our hotel, you know, we stayed in the hotel, we got some food, we had a blast in the hotel, um, just chilling with your friends in a hotel like that, your teammates that you've been waiting to see for a long time is, uh, is a real, is really, like, uh, like a privilege, it gives, it's awesome to see your teammates in person and be able to compete with them, like, sitting beside you, so, first day was Friday, the event got a little bit delayed because of a fire next to the event that burnt down, like, a building, it knocked out the power, so, you know, we get to the event at, like, 12.30, and we have check-in, and they did that, they did it really professionally for check-in. I don't think I have the badge sitting around here, but they gave us team cast badges. And I thought that was pretty cool because when I went to Michigan Esports and I went to that event, um, you know, they didn't really do that, even though they're, they weren't that big at the time. But they gave us these cool tournament VIP badges. That was pretty cool. So, you know, we had, we had our tournament badges, and we looked over, and we only saw two stations set up, and I'm pretty sure they promised four, but I couldn't be 100% on that. But there were two set up, and they called teams to scrim right away. And they called Uplink, which was our team, and they called another team, just to just to scrim and practice. So we were the only team that got to warm up. We had huge crowds around us. It was really nerve-wracking. We didn't have our headsets on. But we played the first match, and we won, like, 250 to, like, 50 points on hardpoint. It was a blowout. And then we were up, like, 10-2 on uplink comeback before we just started playing for stats. We ended up losing that game. They came back on us. It was, it was just a team scrim. We were not even trying whatsoever. They started communicating. So, And then our third team scrim, we played Biolab, CTF, and we won, like, 7-1 on CTF. We were just on fire. People were just watching us. And, you know, they, ever, all the teams for the rest of the event were like, yo, we want to beat that team. So... We're, sh we're chilling, and we're doing pool play, and there were seven pools with three teams per pool, and every team had to play each other for seeding, and it wasn't even to go home, so we had to play two matches. Well, we got there at 1230. We didn't play our first match until 8 o'clock, and what we did until 8 o'clock is pro player Sharp from T Team Caliber, TK Sharp, he was at the event with his team. He went with Nihil and two other people, and... Um, he, he like we were like we talked to him we were like hey you know we said hi a lot of people were saying hi to him we didn't really want a fanboy but sharp ended up being really cool he chilled with us until our matches were played he watched us play and he, you know he was giving us some advice and we were talking about all the pro players and we were talking about cod champs and we were talking about black ops 2 we were talking about everything under the sun it made the time kind of fly so we get to our first match and we're playing this team and you know i've never heard of i never heard of any of the teams that went down here except for one or two and um we play this team, we win like 250 to 130 on hard point, and we win like 14 to 2 on uplink. It was a blowout. We won our first match 2-0. Uh, about an hour later, we played another match, and you know, I'm getting hyped, and we're all getting loud, and we're screaming at the other teams that we're playing, and it was that was really fun. There were no rules at this event. Like, you could say whatever you wanted. At any kind of major, like a Michigan Esports event that I went to, you can't swear, and you got to be careful what you say or else you get disqualified. The people at this event had no rules. We could swear at each other. So we played our second match of the night. It had to have been like 12 o'clock. We went there all day. It was another swift 2-0. It was like 200 to like 250 to 80 on hard point. And it was like 14 or 16 to 1 on uplink. Another blowout. The kids on the other team were so butthurt that they didn't come back the next day. The one kid didn't even shake my hand. He flicked me off. And I was like, oh, all right, man. 
So we got back the next day. We were playing bracket play, and our first uh, game in bracket play, we won. It was another 2-0, another blowout. It was insane. Um, you know, we got there at 9 in the morning the next day. Uh, we were really excited. We played our game 2-0, and then we played Team Soom. And there was a veto system, so we were kind of playing the same maps. And I was so overconfident in my team that I screwed up the vetoes. Instead of playing hardpoint, uplink, search, we played hardpoint, search, uplink. And the reason that affected us so much is our best game mode was uplink, and we didn't get to play it in that series. And that's the series that we got sent to loser's bracket. It was like winners round three or four. I think it was round three winners that we went down to uh, to loser's bracket by Zoom. They 2 owed us. The, the hardpoint was pretty close by like 50 points. And I put a lot of blame on that game on me. I, this is a team game, you know. If, if if someone's not doing good, it forces the rest of your teammates to pick it up. But at the end of the day, you can't blame an individual teammate. But I did put a lot of blame on myself for that map. I was the AR player, and their AR player was kind of being a douche. He pulled out an LMG, and I couldn't counter it. He wanted like a 12 kill streak. It was insane. And I I never would I scumbag someone on on a LAN event like that at a tournament. Would I ever pull out any of the cheap stuff that people don't like to use? I don't do that. They did. And then it went to search, and we were kind of demoralized, and we didn't play search how we did online, and we got sent down to losers. And I took a hard loss on that myself. At the same time, that, that same day, I was given news that, like, one of my relatives passed away, and that was, like, that was like the vibe killer. Like, I was all excited, and then I got the phone call, and I was like, oh, man. So I tried not to let that get to me. It might have gotten to me on the, on the map, but no excuses, you know. We played that game, and we lost. We got sent down to losers. And that was at, like, 6 o'clock. We... We had to wait till 11 o'clock. No, I'm sorry. We had to wait till 1 o'clock in the morning that night to play our next match. If we lost that match, we went home. If we won it, we, you know, we got to come on the next day for top 8. Well, we played that match, and it was a 2-0. Boom. Swift 2-0. We made it to the next day. That whole entire day, we were chilling with Sharp, too. Sharp was real cool. Chilling with us. You know, watching, we were watching each other's games. He was just, he was, he was chilling. It was, it was great. So we got to Sunday, Champ Sunday. We placed top 8. We played our first game. And I remember the two kids that we played, they were from an MES event that I sent them home, and uh, I wanted to send them home again, and we won the hard point, and we won the uplink, 2-0, swift, blowout, and when I say blowout, these games were really easy, didn't even really have to put much effort, and uh, um, we went on to place for top, top, I think we were top six at that point, um, and then... Our, our game that we had to play was against this semi-pro player. His name's Kenny. I don't know his gamer tag. I don't know his at name, but he was playing Sharp before he played us in winner's bracket. He lost to Sharp's team. He dropped 50 on Sharp, who's a pro player, and they lost the hard point by, like, one, and they got, to, they got sent down to us. And this was my best series of the tournament. Sadly, it's the, it's the series that sent us home, but on the first map, I dropped 38 kills. I remember it. It was 38 on Detroit hard point. We won on the last hill. We were we were getting so loud they had to mute the stream across the room because we were so loud screaming at each other on the side station, and it was it was just insane. And then we went to the comeback and uplink was our best mode. Comeback uplink it was our best mode and we lost it because we couldn't slay. We couldn't we couldn't kill them and they were killing us a lot. And then um, we went to the search and we were at four one on search. I was doing insane snipes. I was like eight and two with snipes. And then I slowed down, of course. Like, it always happens to me in search. There's a bad quality. I haven't searched. I like to slow down, but um, it, they brought it back five five, and we we had offense. And we pushed a bomb site, and I remember it completely as it happened. We pushed a bomb site, and they I think they heard us call what bomb we were going to because they four pushed a bomb as we four pushed it. We had two down, and then we and I, I hit a hit marker on a kid. If he would have died, it would have been a four v one. But one kid got a two piece, and then the other kid picked up another kid. And then I got picked up by the last two, and it was over in like 30 seconds. They won the 5-5 search. It was mind-blowing that we lost that comeback, but it was pretty upsetting. Um, the players that I went down to the LAN event with were Previews, who was Sam, Ajay, who was Wu-Tang, and uh, Lobo, who was Tino. Um, all of them had exceptionally great lands. If anyone, quote-unquote, I wouldn't even say got carried, I had an average event. Um, these guys were averaging 30-plus kills a game. They would average about 100 kills together, and I there was just nothing for me to do. I would just hold spawns for these guys. They got the dirty work done. I was just their spawn and their scrap time picker-upper. I dropped, you know, like 30 or in between like 25 to 30 per game, and uplink is where I really helped out my team, and then in that search, I tried as hard as I could to win that search, but, you know, they all had a great event. They all went off. Ajay had like two bad games, and his bad games are like 36 and 38 kills. The rest of his games were like 48. He could have dropped 50 if we had enough time. 
So the outcome of that is we placed fifth out of 24. It's personally my best placing. It's personally all these guys' best placings. Um, after the event, you know, we all, there was some stuff that went down. It doesn't need to be said. We all went our separate ways. Everyone is on a different team right now. Um, it's upsetting that it had to happen like that, but um, it's just the way it happened. If you guys know me personally, you know it happened. It doesn't need to be said again, but um, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, I have a team in the process, I guess, right now that I'm working with, trying to go down to Michigan Esports uh, 20K land. Uh, I'm playing in a couple tournaments this weekend that I haven't been able to do because of uh, money issues on previous teams, and you know, I'm really, uh, every single time that I placed at a tournament, I ended up leaving the team and moving up to a bigger and better team, and you know, it's something that I really needed to tell myself because after this event, you know, it was really, I grinded for like a week trying to find people and it was just frustrating. So, um, shout out to Sharp, um, for being so chill at this event. He gave me a shout out on Twitter. He was really cool. You know, he followed all of us. He just, he shared a whole bunch of personal information about all of his, his like gaming career and how he came to be. And he was really funny. He was a really, really, really humble player. So shout out to him. Shout out to Reckless Events is the land that we went to. They're going to be hosting some more. Shout out to my three teammates that did phenomenal. And it was the reason that we placed fifth at this event. Couldn't have done it without them. And, uh, you know, shout out to all you guys that are watching this video right now because I know that I haven't uploaded in a while. I have over 100 subscribers, and I really want to hit the 500 mark is my goal. Is my I know it's a huge goal, but I really want to hit it. I've been hitting I, – my most viewed video has like 350 views. It's insane. Thank you so much for the support. If you're watching this, again, thank you again for the support because I know how hard it is to – stay active with the YouTuber if he doesn't post as much as I do. Um, immediately following this video, I'm going to be doing what I want to see in the new Call of Duty that was announced. Um, so I hope you guys like this video, and I hope you guys are going to view the next video. If you do, make sure to like, favorite, comment, subscribe. My Twitter is going to be down in the description below, and YouTube will catch you later.